Okay, so this is a short tutorial on the mandible. Um, the mandible consists of a few parts. You've got the anterior part, which is the body of the mandible. You've got the angle of the mandible. And you've got the posterior vertical part, which is the ramus of the mandible. Um, so the body can be separated into two halves. So you've got the upper part, which is the alveolar part alveolar part um, and this is where the teeth um, insert into the lower jaw and then you've got the lower part which is the base of the mandible um, so on the base of the mandible you've got these protuberances these little bumps so if I just rotate it around laterally you can see this little this slight bump here and this is what's known as the mental protuberance and it lies in the midline where the two parts of the body of the mandible meet so this is the mental protuberance and then you've got on either side of the mental protuberance you've got these two little bumps which you can just about make out so if I rotate it around it's probably best to see from the front but you've got these two bumps that lie just lateral to the central mental protuberance and these are mental tubercles so those are found on the base of the body of the mandible um, and the alveolar part contains the teeth so that's the body of the mandible um, and the the angle that you get here is the angle of the mandible and then the posterior part of the mandible meets the body at this angle and this is the ramus of the mandible um, so if I just click here, just visualize the mandible a bit better, zoom in a slight bit. You've got these two processes, anteriorly and posteriorly. So the anterior process is known as the coronoid process, and the posterior process here is the condylar process. And this process articulates with the temporal bone. So you can see here its articulation with the temporal bone. Um, the coronoid, the anterior coronoid process is important because it's the site where the temporalis muscle inserts. So if we just have a look at that, just bring in the muscles. So this large muscle here is the temporalis, um, and I will be doing a tutorial on facial muscles, but just to point out that this muscle inserts onto the coronoid process of the mandible and this is a muscle that's involved in mastication so the mandible is your lower jawbone and together with the cranium it makes up the skull so the cranium has the upper part and the lower part and the mandible isn't a part of the cranium but together with the cranium it makes up the skull own. Um, this little hole here which you can see is a foramen and you've got one on either side and it's called the mental foramen and you've got a few of these little holes in the skull um, and this is where different structures pass through different nerves and different um, vessels so if you just just have a look at that uh, but I will be doing a tutorial on the foramen so that's the mandible